Gentlemen, I expect you to conduct yourself in a professional manner and this fight be clean. Mr. Husik, Mr. Hoop, gentlemen, let's do this. WBA world champion Marco Hook and the challenger, WBA world champion Alexander Usyk and the longtime champion Marco Hook challenging tonight. So here we go then, the first of a scheduled 12 three-minute round, the WBO Cruiserweight Championship of the World on the line. The champion Alexander Usyk operating out of the South Pole stance, wearing the white trunks, trimmed with blue. His opponent, Marco Hook, the flat-footed individual, wearing black trunks, trimmed with gold. The man who held the WBO Cruiserweight title with such, dis such distinction during his long campaign and tenure as the champion. Long right jab to the body wasn't too far away. So Hook, touching up tightly, but a hard left hand to the body did get through from Usyk. Usyk. Such a twinkle-toed individual for a man who possesses such heavy hands. Max Schmeling Haller in Hamburg. Sequence, what a magnificent amphitheater for boxing. This is proving to be. Both men look to invest early on in competing in his second outing. Maurice Bradis of Latvia. For the vacant WBC title, his lesser regarded IBO crown. As Marco Hook's corner team were up on the ring apron. That scored with a good left hand to the body. Point forward, but it's a two phase attack. Then Hook started to wail away to the body. Good right jab in evidence from Usyk, who's got his composure once again. Both men showing flashes of the tactics that they want to employ. Some hurtful shots have been landed to the body. Far less activity. And again, rather telegraphing that right hand. Couldn't Alexander Usyk fairly swaggered back to his and he's electing to stand in between rounds while Marco Hook takes a seat on the bench. Let's listen in. Alexander Usyk, Olympic champion in London 2012 in the 91 kilogram heavyweight division. Absolutely sensational boxer in the yeah, unpaid code. Class of 2012, but it's a pretty impressive bunch of medalists and champions in particular who have gone on to make a significant impact in for the mythical number one spot on the pound for pound list, the mythical pound for pound list. Remember Robert Bird said that anything on the waistband of those trunks is good. In the way that some veteran fighters would like to do to increase the territory. And again, back to that Olympic class of 2012. First ever women's Olympic boxing tournament. And of course, who can forget Anthony Joshua, man who took super heavyweight gold in the same Olympics as Alexander Usyk at the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff after that terrific contest against Vladimir Klitschko in 2000 at Wembley Stadium. Usyk onto the front foot between the high-held guard of Marco Hook. Hook making that one fall short. That's a rather... As he attempted to make a 14th successful defence when he was put on the floor for the first time in his career. The second time, really heavily, as he works away with that right hand to the body once again, bringing heavy leather. Usyk grins his gun shield contemptuously, gets his boxing stance beneath him, and marches his man back towards the ropes, and begins to score with an effective start for left. Action heating up here in this round, and the bell barely discernible as the decibel level rises here in the Max Schmeling Halle in Berlin, Germany. The fans up on their feet at the quickening of action towards the concluding stages of that second round. So Usyk concentrated, trying to pin Hook to the ropes. Hook demonstrating good defensive ability and instincts to get himself out of that place of confinement, but went right back to the ropes on the other side of the ring, causing him to try to initiate that clinch, making life a little bit uncomfortable for Marco Hook. So round three of the schedule 12, the WBO cruiserweight title on the line. But remember, this is the first contest in the inaugural World Boxing Super Series, the Muhammad Ali Trophy on the line. The greatest prize in the sport of boxing is what these boxers are working towards in this 
single elimination, remember, not a round robin, as we've seen in previous tournaments. Here, the equation is quite simple. Win and you progress, lose and you go home, as Usyk scored with a good left hand just a few moments ago. That counter right hand wasn't too far away from Hook, and he comes forward with that right hand, cut back, locked and loaded, looking to unload on the chin of Alexander Usyk, and looking to set up his shots with that poking ramrod right jab. Good right hand to the body scored by Usyk, by Hook, excuse me. Constant instruction from the right, from my right here at ringside, competing in his 21st world title contest, so he knows what he needs to do up there in the boxing ring. Beyond the midpoint of the third round, Usyk continuing to move wonderfully. Usyk just retreats, keeps the distance between he and his man with that annoyance of a right jab. Tempting and teasing with it before getting through with a point scoring left cross to the body. Usyk. Continuing to contract and expand the ring as he likes. He was on the ropes there, making his presence felt when the two men came together at the press conference. As Usyk gets back onto the front foot, that brings a round of applause from his vocal support here. And again, coming forward with a single phase attack, but short to the mark. And now beginning to bring up a crush through the middle. Hook made uncomfortable, driven back to the ropes. As if to say, yeah, that was my portion of the round. How'd you like that? A really effective forward for Ray from Alexander Usyk. So into the fourth round we go. World Boxing Super Series action continues. Here, our focus is on the cruiserweights. The two Titan defenses have come on the road in the USA. That lead left hook wasn't too far away from Marco Hook. And remember, it was the lead left hook that he used. But any success that he's having here is being counted immediately. You can see the face of Hook just beginning to redden from those accurate right jabs that continue to pepper their way through from Alexander Usyk. Work over his man as he gets through the left uppercut and right hook out of that southpaw stance. Oh, but it's easily evaded by Alexander Usyk. And it has plenty of pop on it, does that punch. But it was blocked easily. That's a wonderful left hand to the body from Usyk. Back comes Hook with a right hand and Usyk nodding in acknowledgement. You can be sure that shot got his attention, but he's back in the space of the ring now. That just got through from Hook. But again, Usyk bearing that gum shield in that maniacal grin that he possesses. And that hard left hand has caused Hook to become just a little bit disorganized. Downstairs and upstairs from Alexander Usyk. What a left hand, what a combination. Usyk on the front foot, closing down his man. 40 seconds to go in the fourth round. But it's Usyk who's getting the better of those exchanges. He's more sustained and more eye-catching. The four defeats on his, re on his record have all come. It was he who, from my vantage point, had the better of it. Some of the action from that fourth round. Racking left hand. And that preceded a fantastic combination. Uppercut through the middle, hooks around the corner. And while he was in that defensive posture, Alexander Rusik exploited it, and he started the fifth round quickly, driving Hook backwards. Hook standing stock still near the neutral corner. Usyk continuing to look for openings in the attempted defences of the former WBO champion. Hook, as he gets onto the front foot, with a wonderful lead right hand by the man who resides here in Bern. But again, it's Usyk who's landing the heavy leather. 2012 Olympic gold, we've already mentioned, of course, that... He also competed in Beijing four years prior to that. Hard right hand to the body landed by Hook. And again, look at that for a spearing right hand. And still, the punch position from Alexander Usyk managing to snake his way through the guard with that southpaw right. Fighting off the road now, Usyk. Good right hand lands from Hook. A showboating in evidence from Alexander Usyk. Well, that didn't hurt. He dipped his knees and took it to Marco Hook. Cracking contest so far in this, the first quarter final of the World Boxing Super Series of the greatest of all times. Muhammad Ali, the three time heavyweight champion, it was run by him. He liked the idea of the concept, and that is why this trophy bears his name as Hook walks his way forward with some straight punches. But back comes Usyk once again. Hook bobbing and weaving to Alexander Usyk, causing referee Robert Bird to intervene. But in fairness, Robert Bird hasn't had much to do in this contest. He's being fought at a terrific pace. The turnbuckle before tottering back out to centre ring. 
on the back foot to end the round. Another very big round. Near the corners okay. on various yeah, sides okay, of the ring. But that was a cracking right hand. But look at that. Okay. Little chicken leg down from Alexander Rusik yeah. before coming back with another heavy handed combination. Okay. And it's a tardy exit from the boxing ring on Marco Hook's corner team. Thankfully, no harm done. Some frustration there with the fact that Hook is hitting him low. There's a sporting touch of gloves. All fair in love and war, of course. A solid double right jab. Marco Hook is put under pressure. They're moving. Usyk, such a thoughtful fighter. So he's never a stationary target, even though he appears to be in punching range. A little bit of patience and, of course, in a 12-round contest. And his legs still look a little bit weary to me as he runs into a jolting right jab from Alexander Usyk. Usyk now coming forward, three shots the same salvo. Hard right hand to the body and Usyk complaining that that is again on my belt line. That's a low blow, Usyk. Bobby Reagan working his way inside. Does he have the physical capacity to still demonstrate that experience the deeper we go into this contest? And again, he stands stock still, looking to launch his counter. Here's the lead left hook, but they're easily evaded by Alexander Usyk. Closing seconds of round number six. Hook. Usyk back on the front foot now. Fox Usyk, he walks hook back towards the ropes. Cracking left hand again from Alexander Usyk. So six rounds completed. Six to go in this WBO Cruiserweight World Title fight. In the World Boxing Super Series, the Muhammad Ali Trophy, with all of the other top boys in action, vying for the inaugural Muhammad Ali Trophy. On the front foot once again, walking down his man, hooked by the speculative right cross. Usyk remaining concentrated, back into the pocket. And again, he's just continuing to move, counterclockwise. That's a low blow from Usyk, but he'll complain. Instead, he steps right back into the breach. Wonderful counter right hand for his on the seventh round. Usyk catches Hook coming in. Of his four defeats, only two of them have come inside the distance. As Usyk gets onto the front foot, Hook bobbing and weaving, but he can't evade these blows. And indicative of the fact that he may well be feeling the pace because having turned the tables on his man, instead, he was looking to get some respite from the pace that he's being set. He mentioned the fact he may have taken a break in the first half of round six. And Hook now almost following his man around the boxing ring, a rather ponderous looking overarm right fire. Taking a breather now, bobbing and weaving in front of his man. The right hand from Hook bounces off his left. Now he walks his man down once more, looking for openings with fennel like shots. Hard right cross fired out by Hook. Did the same shot once again. But now here comes Alexander Rusik, unloading heavy leather. Hook covering up, trying to fire back with the right hand under significant pressure. Well, more of the success that Usyk enjoyed having. The mission not Champion walks Hook back into a corner. Hook valiantly trying to fight his way out. But I just get the sense that his forward foray is becoming a little less effective now. Because look, after landing a solid right hand, Usyk just completely disregarded it and came back with his own salvo that was far more effective. Turn to the eighth round then. Establish a hard right hand to the body and Robert Bird saying to Usyk, listen, stop complaining. Bright start to the round, endured something of a torrid round. And so, irrespective of the result tonight, somebody will be progressing. There may be a rematch outside the of the Muhammad Ali Trophy as Usyk again gets onto the front foot and ends that salvo with a good left hand to the body. Like that because he dropped his elbows. And then he gets tagged by a straight left hand straight through the guard. There's the same shot once again. But in the event that the contest is a draw, a fourth judge has been scoring this contest. No coasting if you think you have the contest in the bag, as has happened in previous big fights. Perhaps most notably, as Usyk gets through the cracking right hook. Just so the counter right hook though, from the cagey veteran Captain Hook. But back comes Usyk. And his success is more sustained. Hook partially turning his back, looking to launch a sneaky counter right hand again. But in the meantime, the punch is coming from Alexander Usyk. Left hand success, and then a sneaking underhand left. Hook in real trouble, and the momentum of search from Usyk. And he was tagged while he was on the floor, Alexander Usyk. Sent Alexander Usyk to a neutral corner. Now reading the right attack, and a point has been deducted. Significant incident here. Round. He was struck by Marco Hall. Robert Bird was on the spot.
and has taken a point away by a country mile with a lead left hook. Well, some of the action from that round, and it was a terrific round. This is where the forward momentum of Marco Holt sent Alexander Usyk to the canvas, and that's where he attempted to strike the man while he was down. Robert Bird caught time immediately. But it was this salvo that again drove Hook backwards, and he's been in this posture increasingly as the contest has gone on. Ninth round we go. And Alexander Usyk, perhaps sensing that Marco Hook is ready for the taking, has got onto the front foot. Hook, again, his offense has been reduced to sneaky lead right hands. Now he's getting to work with punches, targeting the body, but being warned for hitting and holding. Usyk again, he's been a top low. Usyk just loosens up that upper body, those neck, that neck and those shoulders, and now bobbing and weaving in front of his man once again. Success. And these punches seem to have Usyk encouraged by the vocal support he's receiving here. Remaining composed, looking for the openings. He looks to break down the defences. And again, it's cries of Usyk, Usyk, reverberating around this magnificent time of the for boxing. That's a hard right hand to the body from Hook. Now, did that hurt Usyk? Be it gloves or forearm or body or head. Now, is he trying to launch a sneaky counter right hand like vulnerable that? position? But it appears to me, as he's put under pressure from some accurate punch picking from Alexander Usyk, corner now, Marco Hook. But Usyk waves him on contemptuously. And again, he's saying, listen, man, you keep hitting me low. Usyk back into the pocket, Hook remaining concentrated. Oops. And perhaps we're seeing the difference here of 46 professional contests. Marco Hook again, taking up what is becoming an increasingly familiar procedure. Fights back on the 10-second clapper. While trying to bob and weave and bring all of his experience to bear here. It's Marco Hook, but he's been getting caught by a fair few of these punches. Solid right hand crashed home twice by Usyk during that combination. Physically and tactically over Marco Hook. Hook onto the front foot, yet closed the distance on Alexander Usyk to launch any offense of his own. Alexander Usyk, who won the title in just his 10th professional contest. The scheduled distance before that, it was nine knockouts out of nine. And again, the effective defenses of Alexander Usyk caused many of the punches in that combination to cannon off. Perfectly precise with hit punch. Box around the corner, uppercut through the middle. And it wouldn't surprise me if a late stoppage by Alexander Usyk. Good left hand to the body from Hook. Such proud defiance in evidence from the former champion. 13 successful title defences. But he's on the receiving end of some same pressure here. He comes back with a good right hand. Usyk takes it well and immediately steps back into punching range. Scores with a right hand upstairs, then working the body. Fights his way off the rope and weaving and once again. Across the boxing ring to take up residence on the ropes on the far side of the ring, near Usyk's corner. Furious assault being launched by Alexander Usyk. Is he looking to finish it here? Hook trying to hold on, but instead he's only covering up. Bobbing and weaving near the ropes. That left hand to the body caused him to wilt. Again, he's trying to fight his way out of the corner. Uppercut ripping through the middle. Robert Bird poised, taking a close look at Marco Hook. All of his strength being put to the test. Usyk working away furiously. Shots underneath. Robert Bird has stepped in and has waved it off in the 10th round of this contest. Alexander Usyk makes a successful third defence of his WBO cruiserweight title. Well, we suggested that a stoppage could well be in the offing because increasingly Marco Hook was spending more time in this posture, reducing his offense to speculative pot shots. But once Alexander Usyk got his man going, he was relentless, continuing to find the accuracy, continuing to unload the potency of punch that had the head swiveling of Marco Hook causing the intervention of referee Robert Bird. About two minutes, 18 seconds in round number 10. He is the winner by way of technical knockout and still the only...